Welcome to the game of Risk, everyone. I'm your host, Olive XC, a top player at this game. And today, I'm going to be doing some practice for round three of the Risk Free For All tournament. Mount St. Michelle, progressive, 70%, blizzards on, portals off, and bots automated with uh, five rat random ladder players. You can see when, when being on 70%, the goal is you want to try to get around two to three continents within like your first three to four turns. And with those continental bonuses, you want to accumulate troops, eliminate players that are weaker, and then push for the 70%, hopefully getting one or two kills in the process, chaining them together. Yeah, 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 one shot. That's the game where Marin won as a bot. Hilariously. Yeah, purple. Ah, I wanted to go for Abby. I can't go for that now, you guys. That is un darn unfortunate. Oh, that is unfortunate right there. Is green, was purple going for two continents and hitting me twice so I only get four troops? Oh no. Oh, wow. Oh, I only get three troops because I'm third. Wow. Wow, wow. That That is horrible, you guys. I have no idea what to do now. I could go for resident but that is not guaranteed nevertheless i think that may be my only option oh i don't even get that what the heck you guys <sighs> this game is horrible right here oh this is a practice man this is definitely not the real match i got knocked down in round two i had a very poor second round yeah but there there is um nothing that I could have done about that first run. I think I played it optimally. There was a little bit of risk involved with me going for the region, and it unfortunately did not pan out. And now I'm behind, and purple is going to get far ahead. I'm hoping that if I can stay strong enough, I'll eventually be able to keep a couple of locations. Probably my four down here. If I can, I can secure resident and hold it on turn two. Uh, that can be okay. And blue is going to be getting the freaking north wall on turn one. Going for that uh, three for one was completely unnecessary, by the way. Also doing that, that attack right there was also unnecessary. Yeah, okay, blue is a little bit of a weaker player, but again, they're getting the continental bonus. The last one up is pink. Yeah, and pink is getting like a six trip, which means that, oh, I'm only getting three. I have the least amount of territory. Oh no, wow. Pink is going to be attacking resident, which is honestly not a bad play because it's a weak continent and they can quickly get it. That's honestly a super fair move by the pink player. Uh, my, my game is almost screwed at this point. I, I can't think of anything else I could have done differently right here. I'm going to keep trying to play this out, but I'm most likely going to be playing without a continent and the other players are going to be outproducing me. The first turn in, I'm 11% and the least number of troops of all the players. Just for various reasons, I ended up getting ganged up on in like uh, multiple ways. Yeah, he's offline now. So I can't even go for West Wall over multiple turns. And oh no, now... Very reasonable play. The purple, the, the red play, the purple player wants to get over Hill Road. Very reasonable. Now I, I have to get hit twice right here. Again, this is a good play of purple. It's a very natural expansion spot for them. Yeah, this game is just poopy right here. Purple does try to break blue, which was dumb because blue can just retaliate. Uh, yeah, I'm almost dead though. I, I'm down to almost like one location. And uh, that's it. I'm gonna leave my troops here to try to spread out as much as I can on the board, but yeah, I'm, I'm losing one troop. I'm down to 15 troops right now, and I, I can't get a continent anymore. If I win this game right here, this is going to be probably an incredible YouTube video. Like, I'm gonna try my best, but when, when the players have twice your number of troops, uh, sometimes it's just your time to die. I'm a fighter though. And we got a good audience watching us right here. It's, it's rare to be above like, like the 50 viewers right here watching all of this. So I'm going to put everything I can in to try to make something out of it. 
The only thing I think that I could, like, uh, try to do is... Oh my gosh, why is Blue gonna hit multiple of my territories? And it looks like Blue just likes to attack haphazardly. So the best player on this board... I think it's probably purple because I own three continents. So the only way that I have a chance of surviving, I need to take out purple's positions around me. So that, that way they can't take me out. Although it's only a couple territories away and with three bonuses. I like what pink is doing, by the way. We're getting now another huge continent. Look at that. Plus three and a plus six right away for them. Imagine if this was my tournament game, you guys. This would be absolutely insane. Orange is back now, by the way. So Orange should be making a couple of attacks right here. Looks like they're hitting blue and they're going for the Old Town Continent. It's a little too late for that now. Yeah, and what 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 is the um, purple going to be getting? Like 13 troops? 15 troops, wow. They're getting my entire army that I have in total in one turn. Absolutely incredible. Maybe I should have hit purple on turn one. Because even if I held residence, I could have then just like been hit. Because that was just where all my troops are. And to not do that would have be having purple kind of snowball to what they're doing right now. But getting into war war with somebody else is generally a really bad move. As purple attacks the black the the blue player, which makes absolutely no sense. Blue is just squandering their advantage. Purple's just squandering their advantage. All they had to do was hold their location. And they would have been completely fine. Instead, they, they risk getting retaliated against and getting a lot of damage. So now the question is, do we go for the 6v3? Because if we fail the 6v3, we're going to die. But we may be able to hold a continent. Eh, YOLO. We'll stay away from uh, purple in case they want to invade me. We, I, I think I feel like I had to go for something. Because I'm just going for broke here at this point. If I don't hone any bonus, I'll just be like taken out. But honestly, the pink player, they can easily just put a two on port residency and port, port tower to guard against me. Put the rest on their guards. Smack me out of here and just hold another bonus for themselves. And then just put like a little bit of a guard right here, like uh, on top road where they can be attacked. And be fine. Yeah, yeah, now we can see blue being a little angry, but you can see because they made all these over attacks before, there's nothing really they could have done about it. And while purple got hit, they still own all the bonuses. What's interesting is because on city road, there's these two blizzards right here. Purple can easily attack into top road within this location and still have the same guard. Honestly, Purple, who's just kind of been like been dominating this game like really hard right now, it's, it's a good move on there and they decide to do that. It's honestly a really, really good move. Look how strong Pink is though. 43 freaking troops. And they're at 24% of the board. If they're a very, very fast attacker, they'll be able to get it within one move. One move for sure, absolutely. Orange finally gets their content. They should have got this a long time ago and then looked to have gotten stores by like by, by round three. The fact that they have been getting this so late is just frankly a failure, kind of like on their end, just like I think they were like missing turns like, like a little bit. Yeah, but, but purple can do whatever they want right now. They're getting so many troops a turn, no one can stop them. They can hit me really hard and just take the bonus and I can't do anything to stop them. Yep. Yeah, great move. Oh my gosh, they hit pink. That's a horrible move. No. Oh no, what is purple doing? They just set the game up wide open. And they just told us, took a bonus from the pink player. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is now very, very eye-opening because Pink is not going to be happy with this. 
and for good reason. Well, we're just going to keep on spreading out right here. We're going to make one attack and go back. But oh my gosh, you just uh, set yourself up, purple player, to get attacked really, really hard by pink next turn. Because the, no way the board should be allowing you to hold all these bonuses after being aggressive like this. We have a set. Where's our extra card on? Our extra card is right here on Monastery. The thing is, is that nobody can be punishing Purple's greed right now. No one can, which is insane. Except maybe Pink. But you can see, even with Purple getting all these extra troops, because everyone just keeps doing all these pot shots against them, it is hurting them a lot. Pink is now in a very interesting decision of if they want to retaliate against purple. They easily could. They can just put everything on like the seven and just like really slam into them hard. I don't think they will. It's not the right decision. I don't know what I would do if I was pink. I I don't think I could attack purple. Maybe attack the one bonus they took of mine. It looks like though, yeah, they're, they're showing restraint. They're actually just going to be giving Purple, the other, the next bonus, absolutely incredible. Pink, by, by just letting them keep like this one stronger bonus is going to end up being okay. Purple is getting 18 troops a turn. And now Orange. Orange looks like they're clearing blue out of their corner. Just getting a couple of like extra territories. So they're keeping their one bonus for themselves, which is certainly helping. Pink also has this 19 troops for purple. They can just eliminate me very easily if they wanted to, or just take out this one bonus. I would probably have to trade in and just hit them at this point, because they would have just completely ruined my game by doing that. But even then, it would barely be giving them any damage at all. But they hit pink again! Are you kidding me? This purple player is insane, you guys. So not only is purple taking all these bonuses, they're just hitting everybody, and no one's retaliating against them. Like, what is this? Like, like seriously, guys, you need like to grow like a pair of cojones and just do something to this this freaking purple player. You're just gonna sit down and get your booty kicked over and over again. Be a like, I don't want to do, like, 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 say, like, certain tropes, but, like, be a gosh darn man already and smack the frick out of them. Like, holy guacamole! Do something! Attack purple! I'm just hitting them right now because I don't want to be taken out because, again, I'm, like, the weakest player, and it's a miracle if I'm winning this game, but I do not make my intro saying I'm a top player at this game and then lie about being a top player. I come to fight and I go to try to win no matter what the odds are and what happens in any given game. I'm always gonna try my best and see what I can do. Purple got invaded in one region. So this is welcome. I also hilariously have more troops than the blue player. Hilariously, even with purple, getting 19 troops right now. They're only 16 troops ahead of me. But purple is still owning three bonuses, you guys. They are still incredibly, incredibly dangerous. Pink, though, can go and attack Dormitory and then Chapel Road and break one of, of purple's bonuses. So this is good. So now the trade-ins are going to start. Purple's going to get the four. I'm going to get the six. And eventually, Orange should be able to trade in. Orange is just kind of staying in the middle, doing their own thing. Uh, guys, don't, uh, don't ever write off Orange. Orange can be like a very subtle threat to this game. They have a nice little two right here, like in Hillside, that's kind of guarding them off. 
And that can do a lot of damage very, very quickly. Purple's not playing board police. Purple is playing the freaking, like, Mafia police. The Mafia police is when you take all the bonuses, break everybody, and then if you attack the Mafia, they break your kneecaps because of the freaking Mafia, man. This is, like... I'm going up against the Mafia police right now, Thurbio. I have no idea how the heck I can stop anything like this. How do you stop the Mafia when they attack you, no one attacks them back, and they're like, they're stronger than everybody else? I'm left fighting for pennies. Just literal pennies on my own right now. Look at this. Another bonus. Yeah, and purple wins a 2v1. They're at 50 troops right here. And pink is just getting absolutely clobbered right now. And blue is getting clobbered. They may even break my bonus. No, they don't break my bonus. Hooray, I get to keep a bonus, you guys. I believe in my bonus. I don't have anything else but my bonus today. Hooray. I believe in life, you guys and all of its bountiful amazingness. So I'm just gonna kick one card and pass. Like I can't do anything right now. I'm I'm on 36 troops. Somehow I survived that hor horrid, horrid early game. I'm still how somehow on pace with the black player right here who's like right next to me. And orange is getting hit a lot right here. Black finally takes a continent on turn. <laughs> what is this? Orbit round six? <laughs> I wonder if I am going to be able to come back from this. I'm not giving up alcohol pair. Like, I'm going to put everything I have into this game right here. I, I have the most horrid starts in all of my games, but it makes it very entertaining to watch because of the potential to have some amazing games if you get like the right chance. I get invaded, but this is because blue wants to invade purple. This is fine. I would rather have the board just focus on another player and just trade back and forth, allowing me to stay strong. And now eventually purple is just going to have so many targets I say this before, and I'll say it again. I, my, I believe so hard in my mechanics because of how much I've put into this game. If I can get into the late game on even footing with these guys, I, I don't. There's almost nobody on earth that can stop me. I will do this. I will get to the late game and like recover from the worst start ever for the round three practice. I need more YouTube content. Look at this, you guys. We are, we have now have more troops than both blue and purple. This is amazing. Orange now trades in, getting the 15 trade. <laughs> and orange breaks pink, what? No. Like, what is going on right now? Orange just went, like, for Loco on the pink player for no reason. Pink is now down to only 24 troops. Guys, I am actually second in troops right now after, like, the worst start ever. Like, I have no idea why Orange was deciding to do this. Purple, though, still has two continents. They are still incredibly strong and incredibly dangerous. Oh no, are they gonna hit my six? I should have moved it. But they don't even have the bonus. Is purple going to be attacking black now? They attack blue because of course they are. I think the best move that I can make right now is I'm just going to retake my bonus and just go, uh, go back and guarding in this location. Do I have a set on four? I do have a set on four. 
If Pink does not have a set on four, they're going to be the person I'm going to try to eliminate from this game. The pathing is going to be very simple. I put on Plateau, I attack West Terrace. I put around three on my 11, I go down the line taking out these troops. I put the West on my seven, I attack Town Hall, Museum, Tower, Pub. That is the Pink player eliminated. And, but per, and oh my gosh, the blue player is also very weak right now. The blue player only has a few troops left. Guys, it may be possible for me, yeah, and, and the blue is rightfully retaliating. The only danger is, is because of how powerful the purple player is having with that super continent, they can do a tremendous amount of damage. But pink has a set on three. Pink is still very, very strong. It does not make sense to... Well, I'm, I'm the weakest. It makes sense for pink to try to eliminate blue if they can, but it's not an easy kill. I don't think they have enough troops. And again, I'm spread out in like multiple locations, so pink can't eliminate me, I don't think. I, yeah, they can't take me out. Can they take out blue? I don't think so. I think pink is just taking one card. Okay, how do we eliminate blue, you guys? Okay, so to eliminate the blue player, we have to attack this one, two, three troops right here. My stem is to go out and attack one, two, three, four, take this out right here. I then need to leave troops on top road to attack city road, take back three, and then attack flower garden, large residence. And then we will be able to get the trade in. Then when we have the trade in, are we then able to get the 70%? I don't know right there. I think because there's too many fives, like in ones, like I can't get there right now. Who's on the 27%? Oh my gosh, what was that? That was a 6v4. An attack on purple. Purple's still on 31 right now, but they're getting 19 troops. And they could be getting potentially the 25 trade in. They are getting 25 trade in. I'll get the 30 trade in. This does mean I'm going to be able to get a safe and easy kill on blue now. We then chain and get out black. I don't know. I don't know. What, what is purple going to do? Are they going to hit me? I don't know, but purple is just attacking everywhere at the moment. If we wanted to take out black afterwards we would need to go through a big swath of purple as of now uh, we need to make sure that we are able to eliminate at a minimum the blue player so let's do this right now you guys let's make out our comeback So that is going to be the blue player down. Now we're going to get the set right here. We're going to get the 35 trade in. Can we now eliminate black? I don't think so. We would have to go in, attack. It's a little bit too risky. Right, we also have to attack the 16, remember? Because it's blocking us right there. We can get one more uh, troop though, and then we're just going to leave our army available. We're going to bide our time. We have the set on three, you guys. Holy cow. If we can survive one more turn, we're going to be able to potentially take this game and make an incredible comeback. There is no way this is one of the most insane games I've ever won, if that was the case. Like, you guys saw that start. It was the worst thing ever. And Black, the Black player has no set on four. They're on five cards. So if I place everything on my 53, I can go in, eliminate the Black player from the game. I can end off on this eight, 
the eight will hit on the Saint Orbert, which will allow me to go into Hell Passage. That will give me the remaining troops that I need to attack and take this game. No way, you guys. Is this going to be, like, my greatest comeback ever? This is incredible and, and incredulous. Absolutely amazing. But, oh, is purple going to go for the black player right now? No, purple just takes another continent. I don't know if purple's fast enough, though. This is not going to be an easy kill. Yeah, I don't think they can take out the black player. So now I'm going to eliminate black. And then once I take out black, I'm going to probably have to try to start hitting the orange player uh, as much as possible. The trade-in will be like the 40 and then like the 45. All right, we're going to chain this together, you guys, as if this was actual practice. We are going to take out black. Then we are going to take out the orange player. And then that should, then we'll be able to get the 70% taking the game. Let's do this. I do leave the rest of my stack kind of stuck here. However, I'm getting another trade in immediately and I'm gonna be able to do that to get the remaining uh, territories I need. Let's go! Holy cow! Why not kill pink? That was insane! Thank you guys so much for watching and if you're liking this, please consider subscribing. But this is Olive XC, signing off.